In the previous episode, we learned how Illidan managed to get the Naga under his control. We chased him down on none other than my Eve Shadow Song. However, he went down into the tomb of Sargeras. Moments later, just inside the entrance of the shadowed tomb, Maeve and her watchers brace themselves for an ambush. Let's see what happens next. I have a bad feeling about this, mistress. It's too quiet. It feels as if we're walking into a trap. Still, we must press on, Nysha. If Illidan finds whatever it is he's seeking, he could... Wait, look there. Strange. These are orcish runes. They were written by... Gul'dan when he first opened this tomb 20 years ago. What do they say? Apparently, he logged his journey through the tomb's depths. These runes seem to depict that history. Very Quickly, you fools! Fan out and search for the primary passageway. We must reach the Chamber of the Eye before the tomb's guardians awaken. <laughs> Spineless cowards. I said move. Now, Sargeras, I will claim whatever's left of your power and bring this wretched world to its knees. There's no telling what Gul'dan and his lackeys awoke in this foul place. We must be cautious. <sighs> so I'm assuming once again we are gonna do some dungeon crawling, or dungeon crawling rather, which is awesome. The search for Illidan, find Illidan, and We're Eve must survive. What about Nysha? Nysha doesn't have to survive. Now, many of you pointed out that I probably should have spent a little bit more time leveling up my blink. So, as soon as I get a level up today, I think that's what we're going to be doing here as well. Other than that, though, I guess the only thing we can really do is start shutting down these demonic gates and figure out what's on the other end. The guilty will suffer. More undead orcs. Gul'dan led them blindly to their deaths. Still, they hunger for revenge. Oh, so wait, this is what's left over from the orcs? Oh, skeletal orcs. <laughs> Fair enough. Of course, I am still looking for a bunch of items. We'll try and destroy as much as we possibly can. Really happy to see, by the way, that so many of you were joining or enjoying, rather, the very first episode of The Frozen Throne. I'm loving this playthrough. I mean, it's been an absolute blast to play through the Reign of Chaos already, and it's very cool to see that. Even though the game is old, a lot of you are still enjoying it, you know? That's so cool. Now, I do have to be rather careful on my mana management. Some of you mentioned that if you apparently... Yeah, there you go. If you apparently level up Blink all the way to the max level, it barely costs you anything um, to uh, to Blink around anymore. I should really consider doing that. Apparently, if I level it up once right now, it will actually lower the cooldown, or rather the cost of Blink, from 50 mana to 10 mana, which is definitely already a big improvement. So, we're trying to destroy as many of these little dudes as we can as well. Of course, I'm hoping here that potentially they're gonna drop us some items as well, which would be very helpful. And apparently there's actually a Storm Reaver Necrolite. Guess they've been here uh, for a while. Ooh, and there's a potion of greater mana. Not bad. We'll try and do as much exploration here as we possibly can, though. Um, although, well, <laughs> there's not a whole lot more we can do other than just simply walking straight through the main gate. So before doing so, I'll make sure to save here as well. One of the things I learned in Mission 2, on the Broken Isles, is that it was rather tricky. Use me Blink ability to get past pits and barriers. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have to do a lot of blinking? Oh, okay, there we go. Yep, so the 10 second cooldown right now is gonna be a little painful. I could have already had it at the max level. I guess it just slows down the mission a little. Not that big of a deal. We'll just have to be careful. Well, I do want to have these archers in the back, though. Time here. Oh, the pathing. Some of you have pointed out, by the way, that apparently um, you don't really like the fact that I got the formation toggled in the way that I do. But I actually, I actually most definitely prefer it this way. Although, triggering both of these groups at the same time was kind of a waste. Back, you mortals. None may defile the tomb of Zagaras. The hunt awaits. All is good so far, though. They're gonna be able to mana burn me, which is a little painful. So, of course, I do want to make sure that I teleport out of here in time if I need to. Which it looks like I will. There we go. 
We're wasting time here. I'm hoping secretly that one of these will... Ooh. <laughs> one of these will potentially drop me an item that I can heal up with. We do get a mantle of intelligence, although... The hunt awaits. Fighting two packs here at once was kind of a waste. There really wasn't a particular reason for us to do so. And they're all target firing down me Eve as well, so that's a little unfortunate. Is there maybe a healing item over here? The end draws near. I can wait no Sadly not. Sadly not. Now I've continued onwards a little further into the dungeon, and so far all I'm really noticing is that there are a ton of enemies. Although these in particular are really high level. Look at this, level 8. I don't think I can quite fight that with a level 4 warden here. We gotta be very careful about that. Of course, I only have a limited amount of army here as well, so we don't really want to lose anyone. If we can at all avoid that. So there we go, I get a rune of healing. <laughs> I can wait no longer. I'm secretly hoping though that we can go ahead and pick up some solid items in this dungeon as well. <sighs> a level 7 pit lord. You know what? Once again, I'll make sure to uh, save here beforehand. And I guess we'll go ahead and target fire him down, see if he can do some damage. Activate up my, um, my mana potion there as well. Should be able to take him out quite easily though, and I think this may very well be a dead end. Although, this does look like a place I could potentially blink up on. I wonder. I mean, they must be here for a reason, right? Other than just a potion of lesser healing. Can I go up here? Oh no, I have to explore up there first. Hmm. I wonder, though. Is this entire, like, this entire little area just here? For a, a manual of health? I guess so. Hmm. Up next, there are two staircases right here. I guess we'll just take the one at the bottom first and see what's up here. Let's see. Ooh, there's a big one. There we go. Well, I don't really want to waste my mana here if I don't have to. I do like that single target damage there as well, though. And actually, there's a potion of, uh, or a, a rune rotter of greater mana. So that actually means I can just go ahead and use that. And now we also did level up, so I'll get blink up as my next level. Now is the time. So that should reduce that to 10 mana only. Very helpful. And even though I'm leading the charge here with my Eve, she is not like the most tanky unit in my composition here. Nysa actually uh, has got more HP, or at least, well, not anymore. She used to in the previous missions. Apparently no longer. Sorry about that, Nysha, but you're still going to be the one taking a lot of damage here. Although I do want to try my very best to keep her alive as well. We must hurry. Can we level up our... Uh, no. I was hoping that we might be able to level her up twice in one mission. I comrades' voices from the other side of this barrier. If we destroy it, they'll be able to get inside and help us hunt for Illidan. Well, there we go. Let's go ahead and activate you guys' healing right away. And other than that, I guess we'll move you guys over towards bear form as well, just because bear form is stupid helpful. And of course we just used a whole lot of their mana already. So what's this? Really? Wait, was that over here? That's so cute! I didn't know that that was a thing. Alright, let's get over. The fact that I can blink a lot more often now as well is actually very helpful. I guess in multiplayer, that's an interesting trade-off, because her spells are super strong. I'm not entirely sure how this would work out, although... Oh, she seems to be the only one that's allowed to go there. Apparently my, my archers can hit him, though. Maybe I should actually move one of these over so we can still use the roar. Like, that roar is still very helpful. And we got a ring of protection. Alright. And apparently, we can transform or we can platform a little longer. He must have shattered it by accident. If we can find the other missing pieces, we could reassemble the orb and use its power to aid us. Hmm, alright. Well, I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and drop a strength item on the ground or something. Probably I our worst one. No longer. Um, so, one longer. of ten shadow orb fragments found. No <sighs> oh, are you telling me I maybe should have already looked for these things a little earlier as well? Not entirely sure. We can get 10 of those on this map? That does seem like... Well, if this is the first part... I'm not entirely sure, but it does seem like a lot. I can't imagine that I'm probably gonna forget one on accident and, like... <laughs> be in a lot of trouble. Anyway. I don't think this is one of the main quest objectives. No, it actually does show that... We only have got... Uh, we only have got... Uh, an optional quest to complete it. But still. Generally speaking, those kind of quests seem to give us quite a lot of rewards. 
draws near. Well, there's not a whole lot to be seen. How did you guys even get in there? Drew to the claw? How did you get there? Wait, you guys can now use Roar while in bear form? I thought you couldn't do that previously. Oh, wait, now he can? Yeah, he can. Wait, didn't I try that during the Reign of Chaos and it didn't work out? Huh. Once again, though, a lot of dudes up ahead. There we go. And this should be all good now as well. So I think we can go ahead and take out this Necrolite here too. But we'll keep an eye out here though. There may potentially be another chance for us to uh, grab a few more of those fragments. We must hurry. Oh man, it would have been so much easier if I had the level uh, the level three research done already. All right. Before continuing onwards, just before I forget, let's go ahead and save because I haven't lost a single unit just yet, which is really good. And something scary is happening. There, more of Gul'dan's glyphs. Interesting. They continue the warlock's tale. Blasted, feeble-minded weaklings. They're all likely dead by now. Still, I must press on. My power alone should be enough. <laughs> that laughter. Is that you, Sargeras? You seek to mock me? We'll see who laughs last, demon, when I claim your burning eye for my own. Again, he referenced this mysterious eye. What could it be? An artifact, no doubt. It must have contained tremendous demonic power to lure Gul'dan as it did. We're wasting time here. I really like the storytelling, though. So doesn't this look like an area I can blink over? No, not quite. What's it called? It is called blink. All right. Um, maybe here on the high ground. I mean, it's probably gonna be quite obvious. No, we just need to explore there first. It's probably gonna be quite obvious where they're gonna be located. I just need to make sure that I keep an eye out on it. Couple of Murnocs in the way. They're everywhere. They're always everywhere. A little splash damage of all of my huntresses turns out to be rather helpful. There we go. And now we actually have a dedicated healer as well on my Eve. Or actually, I need to be careful though with my healing, because apparently... If she takes any damage, the rejuvenation is immediately cancelled. At least it seems like it. Let's see. So is she currently being fought here? Yeah, she actually is. Okay, maybe I just misclicked it. Let's go ahead and pick up the Rune of Mana here. To make sure that everyone gets a little bit more of it. And I guess we'll backpedal for just a second here. While still looking out for any kind of potential runes. It's a statue of Ajara, the great queen of old. She led our people to ruin by consorting with Sargeras and his burning legion. Only, I don't recall her ever having a tail. She looks more like a Naga than one of us. Would those foul serpents have any reason to worship our queen? I don't know, Nysha. But her image chills me to the core. There are a ton of things happening in this campaign, though. Just so good. The storytelling is really nice. We're wasting time here. All right. We're gonna need to take out this big guy here. Level 10. Level 10 Hydra is not an easy feat. Oh my god, did it just one-shot my archers? I think she may have... It may have just... I think it did. All right. I don't know if it consumed it or something. I'm not sure. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. Area of effect healing in the middle of fights. Very nice. And it actually is splitting up in smaller different parts. I guess, you know, the story of a Hydra. Having to hit its head several times. Is true after all. There we go. Were you telling me you guys don't drop anything useful? Then there must be at least one of these shadow orbs right behind this. Has to be, right? Why else would we... Unless this is part of the main quest, but it seems a little out of the way. Okay, switching over to things. Picking up the Tomb of Intelligence, very nice. 
Oh, look at them. They're all like splitting up immediately as soon as they die. Still good though. Still haven't lost a single unit just yet. What bear? Oh, here. Almost didn't see him. So many frogs! So many things up ahead as well. Maybe this is just here to unlock some new units. There we go. Some dryads is definitely very helpful as well. There's just simply tons and tons of mobs over here. It's pretty incredible. A lot of stuff. I guess it's just a matter of us destroying as much as we possibly can, because I wouldn't be surprised if... I plan on, like, doing the bonus objective, right? Then I'm gonna have to go back into this dungeon a little while later and, like, backpedal for a bit, just to try and make sure that I get myself all of the items here. Because um, there are certainly a lot of things that I probably could have picked up already. Although I feel like I've explored every single bit. I wouldn't be surprised if later on it turns out that I could have done a little bit better. Ooh, and actually we just found a healing salve over here. Isn't that an item from the multiplayer? Not entirely sure. Um, which one should we go ahead and drop? I guess we'll go ahead and drop the ring of protection. Pick up the healing self. Yeah, I believe this is an item from the from the single player. Yeah, or from the multiplayer rather. Regenerates a target unit's hit points by 400 over 45 seconds. At the very least, it's very common in the multiplayer. Regardless, though, I feel like I've checked out this entire area and I'm not quite seeing any additional fragments. I think I can blink across here, right? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. So what's this? I opened up something. I heard something opening, but I'm not entirely sure what that was. Oh no! I can wait now is the time. The um, there are tons of units here. You've come far enough, little warrior. Oh, wow. Your vaunted night elf justice has no jurisdiction here. What would you know of us or our justice, Naga Witch? Why, my dear, we Naga were once night elves. We were Ashara's chosen, the Highborn, banished beneath the cruel seas when the Well of Eternity imploded around us. Impossible. Cursed. Transformed. We have waited 10,000 years to retake our rightful place in the world. And now, with Lord Illidan's help, we shall. Not while I draw breath. Your courage is commendable, but it shall avail you nothing. I didn't mean to quite fight her yet, though. We're wasting time here. Okay, good. Um, I guess I may have just... Yeah, I was just thinking about it. I may have just opened up a bridge or something. I, I just... <laughs> I was quite think. I was just thinking about it. Why would it have actually opened up like that? There must have been at least, like, another... We're wasting time here. There must have been at least another couple of, like, a uh, couple of these shadow orbs, though. I, I cannot imagine that there was only a single part here. In this, uh, first part of the, uh, on this first part of the map, I suppose. Like, there's no way there's only, it's only that. So I've been backpedaling for just a little bit, and I'm pretty sure this is an area I can jump up on. Yep, there we go. I was, I was gonna say, like, I really wanna, I really wanna go ahead and try and see if I can go ahead and grab this... Uh, or all of these 10 orb fragments. I'm not entirely sure what it brings us or why we should do it But it's probably a really good thing and I saw some of you commented in the previous video That it's definitely worth my time if I decide to go ahead and do so so I Think we'll go ahead and see if we can potentially find something useful. There are a lot of like a lot of things over here though Look at all of this. What, why are you guys even here for? Maybe I don't even need to fight you now is the time. Look at it. Oh, there it is. Wow. Oh, that's the only way you can actually get up there. That's so sick. I didn't realize that. That's so cool. Ha. <laughs> that is such a cool way of dealing with it. But that at the very least should be the second one of the orb fragments as well. Actually, they give you a lot of these runes that drop from pretty much each and every one of these monsters. So... That sort of allows you to stay alive, I suppose. Regardless, though, I should be able to uh, blink across just barely and pick up the second Shadow Orb Fragment. Nice. Supposedly, this is where the next one is at as well. I quickly looked it up because I'm afraid that I'm going to miss a lot of them. There we go. I can go ahead and grab those items real quick. They are really well hidden, though, so I'm not entirely sure what the result of this shenanigans will be. But I can imagine... 
I can't imagine that it's gonna be a very powerful item or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Apparently, I'm also able to blink over to the other end right here. Look at that. That is such a tiny little blink. But here there is indeed another one of the shadow orbs. Very, very nice. We'll pick up the mana right there as well. And then it's time to go ahead and guess get out. That blink was huge! Look at that! What? There's no way! Oh, here we go. That's the next one as well, number five. Very, very nice. And remember where we killed that big turtle? Apparently that's where the next one is located as well. I totally would have missed all of these if I wasn't looking it up right now. Don't tell anyone. So wait, are you kidding me? This is the only way you can go ahead and grab the next one. I would have 100% missed this. Look at this. Supposedly I'm allowed, to, or I'm supposed rather, to go ahead and put one of these birds up in the tree, at which point I can indeed blink across here to pick up, uh, you know, apparently one of those runes as well. But I'm gonna make the assumption here that this is where the next one is going to be located. But look how difficult that is. I mean, I definitely would not have found that. There it is. Very nice. All right, it's once again time to continue onwards, see if we can explore a little bit more, because I don't think I missed anything until now. At the very least, not for the time being. Hey, I really do like, I really do like the other formation better. It just makes microing units so much easier. Here we go, though. This is important here, because I need to try my very best and not lose any units if I can at all avoid it here. Actually, we seem to do all right here so far. At least not losing any units should make the rest of this mission a little bit easier. At least lose as, as few as we possibly can. There we go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch over these units once again too. So we can spend some time healing up my other units. Very good. Very nice. Alright. Um, so those are indeed cleaned up. Actually before I forget it we should make sure that we save. Because I haven't done so ever since I've picked up a gazillion fragments. The guilty will suffer. Which would not be great to do, and I don't know exactly where to go next. Alright, I think we'll go... Oh, wait. Is there something up here? No, no, no. Wait, is there? It seems like deep water, so I don't think I can get anything here, but there's like a path on the on the, on the the mini-map. Uh, I don't think there's anything up there. Instead, we are moving through this new area. That looks a little bit differently, I suppose. It's a little bit different than the ones we've been to so far. Gotta be careful that I don't lose any of my units, of course. And of course, need to make sure here that I also heal up my friends. Ooh, a rune of restoration. Perfect. More forces once again. Very nice. Oh, we get some Brutes of the Talon. And actually, we also completed the uh, optional or the optional quest there with that. So this mission should become a little easier now too. Um, I mean, this looks like a place where potentially an orb might be hidden as well, right? At least it looks like one. There's a couple of different ramps we can take over here. But after a little while, I managed to kill the Hydras. I mean, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the thing just yet. But I'm not, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say. I'm gonna make the assumption here that it's gonna be over here. Nice. Picked up another one. Only two left. Now, I gotta be careful that I don't accidentally, like, complete the mission. Or at the very least, I, I assumed I would have to go over here. But anyway, I gotta be careful that I don't accidentally complete the mission before wanting to, right? Because, um... Right at this point, we are getting near the ending of it. And I still do have two to go. I hope I didn't miss anything important along the way. Once again, a rather big fight here, but... I think we'll be okay. There we go. Picking up a greater healing rune. That way everyone should be top off once again. May not be the most efficient way of doing things, but it should be alright. And even though my hero is slowing down for the time being, we're gonna be able to continue onwards once more. Pretty difficult and complicated missions here, though. Much more well made, I suppose, than the ones we have seen so far in um, in the Reign of Chaos. I mean, so far. I mean, in total, they're much better. Uh, they're much better made. As oh my god, a lot of people are dying now, though. Not quite what I had anticipated. I'm not sure if that healing valve works in combat as well. It does look like it does. So I probably could have been able 
Or I may have been able, rather, to uh, keep my units alive for a little while longer there, too. There's a rune of healing now on the ground. I did end up losing one of my dudes. Not sure if that was a huge deal, but... Look, mistress. More of Gul'dan's glyphs. Yes, Gul'dan's script seems to grow more desperate. It reads that he was... Ambushed by the Guardians. I am dying. If my servants had not abandoned me, I could have claimed the Eye and... And what? Damn you, Sargeras. I won't be beaten like this. I am Gul'dan. I am darkness incarnate. It cannot end like this. This is as far as he got. The runes simply trail off. I cannot imagine what horrors Gul'dan faced in his final moments. Wait, so you're telling me it was his final moment and he still he put effort hurry. into writing down runes? Will be done. That's pretty impressive, dude. Met respect right there to Gul'dan. I would not have had the strength for that. I heard some people are really avid journalers, but... Ooh. Yeah, I think this may be another one. Generally speaking, they seem to be covered by these runes. Not sure if that's true, though, but... I can wait no longer. Oh wait, maybe not. Or actually, there's one up here. Look at that. There we go. Nice. Whew. Nine out of ten. I think I'm gonna be okay. Even if just barely. Sadly, one of my doggies ends up falling. One of my bears. Not quite the same as a dog, loco, but whew, close one. Just barely managed to do it here. I hope this was the final fight, because that was the, last, the, the rest of my units, at least. Actually, do you think I could blink across here? Oh, I can. Brilliant. Is this the last of it? Please tell me that, you know, the last skull is in here. A stone token? Ooh. Oh, that would have been really helpful previously. Um, I wonder where that last skull will be. Oh, there it is. It's actually hidden right here in the bottom right. I think there's like oh there we go. There's a little tunnel. Alright, this is the last of them. Finally, the last piece of the shadow orb. Now we'll use Gul'dan's own artifact to discover what he could not. Shadow Orb plus ten. This artifact was imbued with special powers by the Orc Shadow Council. It increases your attack damage by ten. Armor by 3 and grants enhanced hit point regeneration. That is super good, actually. Alright, nice. So at the very least, it is indeed an item that I can go ahead and use. I guess I could have used it also with lesser charges, uh, rather than just plus 10. Anyway, regardless, happy to, uh, happy to have completed it right there. Totally didn't get any help online. Totally didn't Google a thing. Yes, I did. Got it, though. <laughs> I'm a completionist. Just as much as the next guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Warden Shadow Song, you've made it at last. I knew you would. You have much to pay for, Illidan. I'm taking you back to your cell. Naivete does not suit you. When I consumed the power of Gul'dan's skull, I inherited his memories. Especially those of this place, and the dark prize he coveted. Yes, the power of Sargeras. You would claim it as your own. That power is beyond my reach, little warden. But this... The Eye of Sargeras contains all the power I'll need to rid this wretched world of my enemies once and for all. Ironic that you should be its first victim. You're insane. Isolation can do that to the mind. Now, after all the long centuries you kept me chained in darkness, it is only fitting that I bury you in turn. Damn! I must reach Shadow Stormrate and 
warn him of his brother's treachery. My power will allow me to Aww. escape. But I fear there is no way out for the rest That's of so you. That's so sad. Go, Mistress. I should know. This will light our path to the hereafter. I will not forget you, my sisters. You will be avenged. I swear it. Now I've got to find a way out before this cursed tomb is drowned by the seas. So wait, you're telling me I did all of this? Oh, We're snap. wasting time here. The enemy draws near. Now is the time. I will finish the hunt. Uh, I don't know if I've got enough time now here. Can I time. blink? Oh, wait. I should have I probably just walked past the him. Anyway, you're telling me I did all of this. The guilty will suffer. I will just to figure out the that Illidan wasn't I a nice guy? No oh, actually. The guilty will that was a total waste right there, Loco. Good I job. No you're telling longer. me I did all of this just to figure out that... You know, Illidan isn't a nice guy. What is new? Like, we already knew about that. But this is what I mean, though. I mean, this mission alone is already so much higher quality than the ones that we have seen in the Reign of Chaos, and I already enjoyed that campaign. These are like four different missions in one, right? There's all kinds of different segments, I suppose, we can talk about. I'm gonna have to make a run for it, though. Can we, can we get past? Thank you very much, gentlemen. Appreciate that. Uh, apparently this area is kind of flooded. Can we? Okay, nice. I can wait no longer. Very solid. Now is the time. I guess I'll just right click on the mini map right no there to show her to the entrance. But still, like these missions are really good. I'm happy that I managed to get that shadow orb item as well. Will now is the time. Can I? No, sadly I cannot blink the across here. Will still got that uh, rune of speed on me as well, which is very now helpful. Is the time. I will finish the hunt. There we go. One minute and 18 no seconds remaining. I think we've got now plenty of time. time here. The guilty will suffer. Now is the time. Unless I get slowed down. I no real interest in that. The guilty will suffer. Pretty I sure I should be able to blink hunt. over here as well. The end if only I got level three blink. I will finish the hunt. The that would have been really suffer. helpful. I'm not sure if it's still worth getting level three blink after this mission as well ASAP, but I'll probably go ahead and do it anyway. I can wait no longer. There we go. The guilty will suffer. Rune of restoration. I well, I really don't need that. I can wait but I guess no some longer. extra mana can never hear me hurt. I Did I really expect heart. you would fight to some of the these guilty dudes? Guilty will suffer. I have no intention of fighting any of these guys. But I guess it also needed to be now possible, even with level one blink. I can wait no longer. But we managed to escape from the tomb. Very nice. I'm a little sad though for the other night elves. I mean. They fought valiantly, they tried their very best, and all they ended up getting, I guess, was death. That's a little disappointing. Chapter 4, Wrath of the Betrayer. Hours later and the next morning in real life. Suffering from grievous wounds and exhaustion, Maeve stumbles back to the relative safety of her base camp. Turns out these missions take happened, a while. Mistress? Where are Nisha and the others? They are lost. Illidan claimed the Eye of Sargeras and used its power to bury our sisters alive. Now he intends to finish the rest of us off. We have no choice but to sail back to Kalimdor and warn Shondo Stormrage of what his brother intends. It's too late, Mistress. Illidan's forces have arrived. We cannot escape, but perhaps we can send for reinforcements. Summon the runner. She must reach the shoreline and sail back to Kalimdor. With any luck, Shondo Stormrage will reach us before we're overrun. Be swift, sister. Oh, this is a defensive mission. Well, wow. that runner didn't get very trouble. far. Protect her! <laughs> Tor Ilisar, that and all! It's maybe one of those missions where we have to hold on for like a you know 30 minute or so duration. Considering we have to wait for Mafurian to uh, to aid us. The hunt and actually, ooh. Wait, so this is all we've got? The guilty will suffer. Oh, so we actually are sort of split off, I suppose. Rescue the night elf and transports. The runner must survive and your base must survive as well. Alright, so there are a few entrances right here into my main base. I do have an Ancient of Lore here and I guess I'll go ahead. Oh, here we go. Mark of the Claw allows Druid of the Claw to cast a roar while in that mode. Alright, very nice. 
I think we'll once again focus on Ancient of Lore and Ancient of War. They seemed really powerful previously. Increase the amount of mana that can be stored in the Moonwell by 200 and our mana regeneration. All right. The Wellspring upgrade is now available at the Hunter's Hole. Wellspring increases the mana capacity and the mana regeneration of Moonwells. Very, very nice. So I actually have got a ton of additional army here as well. I'm awake. I'm awake. That is very nice. Um, I'm not sure. Should I already worry about going down here? Is there a way for me to reinforce into, you know, this small group of forces that I've got over here? Other than the Night Elf and... F Ugh, I mean, I don't know. Um, Alright, we'll once again focus on an army based around Druids of the Claw and then also some Huntresses here. As well as maybe some Archers, actually. I really did like the Archers in the first mission. Apparently there's going to be a battle over here. Considering it looks like I'm going to have to be defensive here, maybe it's a good idea for me to even add on some additional... Uh, some additional druids or some additional ancient protectors or maybe just move over the ones that I've got because they're already taking a lot of damage Probably a good idea We have to make sure that I actually use the correct hotkeys here I'm not sure Wait, is there you know, it does look like a second entrance into my base. I'm not entirely sure there are also some Static or there is also some static defense set up right over here. So you know what? I'm probably gonna have to make the assumption that they're gonna push over there, too Don't really want to go over 80 supply here. I think I'm actually okay with the amount of supply we're at and maybe some of these um, Maybe some of these dryads would be very helpful, too um, You know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and add on some new Ancient protectors. I'm not entirely sure if I need to But it seems like a good idea it seems like a good idea. We'll create some more uh, some more wisps here too, and I guess at the same time we'll start moving to the other end of the map. And of course, I need to make sure that I'm also researching here in my Huntress Hole as much as I possibly can. So we'll hotkey this to hotkey six, and with that we should be okay and ready to go. <laughs> this Asian protector still walking. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Four would probably be good. Four would probably be pretty nice. There we go. Should be very soon. Okay, nice. Can you please let Mr. Ancient Protector come through? I know he's a little slow. Alright. Well, let's have a look then. We'll make sure to save here once again before moving onwards. Because I'm not entirely sure what exactly it is I'm looking for. Oh, there's actually another entrance to my base over here to the north. Can't believe I didn't see that. Ooh, Lady Vash. It almost looked like it, at least. Mistress, we've discovered a dig site. Perhaps it holds an artifact from our ancient kingdom. Scour the dig site. We'll take whatever it holds for our own. God Hold is on. willing. Find something to aid us against Illidan and his serpents. I wonder if I should have maybe not put all of my stuff in the same location. Eventually, this will all end up falling, but I'm still losing quite a few troops here. Doesn't look like I need to rush walking down, though, with the army that I've got over here. Um, so maybe, you know what, I'm just going to set up more static defense. One of you, uh, or some of you have pointed out that I've been playing far too little static defense. So maybe having some more of it would be a good idea. I can get a whole bunch of it, right? They're pretty cheap. And they're really strong as well for what they are, to be fair. What's this? Upgrades all ancient and treants movement speed and armor. Ooh. That is really nice too. Although I'm gonna need some more wisps here whenever I replace any of them. I'm just hoping that I'm not being a little too greedy, I suppose. But still, this part right now should be pretty much like impossible to penetrate as long as I'm moving my armies around. Actually, apparently one of them has moved down here. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, we'll put all of my Moonwells on Autocast too. Actually, it looks like they may very well be defaulting to Autocast now, which is very nice. Drink. There you go. And maybe I should actually just move these dudes over too. Because I'm not currently seeing any aggression towards the right side of the map. Although it may very well come in just a bit. Apparently, they are also sending flyers from the bottom end of the map. Wasn't quite anticipating for that because I don't have a whole lot of anti-air. Teleports the hero to the targeted allied land unit or structure. Maeve can use the staff of teleportation to easily travel between her base and the runner. Ooh. So wait, you're telling me I can just simply use this to teleport her straight towards my main army? Oh, that is great. All right, you know what? I'll just send some time then. Defending my base. 
building up a reasonable count because I was already wondering how I was going to use this Ancient of Wonders. But I guess this is a great way of doing it. There we go. What are you going to do against all of these dudes? What are you going to do against all of the Ancient Protectors here, right? This should do a lot of damage. Yeah, this looks. This actually looks really nice. Considering I need to be careful here anyway. This should do just fine. Look at that. Completely overrun. Brilliant. Well, this is something I didn't really consider. My gold mine has just been drained. Um, Maybe I should have paid a little closer attention to that. Regardless, um, I guess this is then the army that we've got. <laughs> Not quite what I had anticipated here, because I was busy playing static defense game here. Which I guess worked out, but... Oh man, I don't know if that was actually the smartest decision, come to think of it. I can wait no longer. Maybe I should have also sent you over a little sooner than I did here, huh? Because we are losing a little too much here. Hmm, I wonder if this was the correct approach here for me. Although at the very least, my base will still be pretty difficult to penetrate, but... I'm gonna need to make sure that I get my Eve back to the main army. She did just level up, so I guess we'll go ahead and learn Vengeance here. It creates a powerful avatar that summons invulnerable spirits from nearby corpses to attack your enemies. When the avatar of Vengeance dies, the spirit vanishes. Alright. It's gonna be the ultimate ability right here. Uh, but at the same time, it's time for me to move backwards here as well. And I guess we send all of those wisps to Lumber Harvesting? I'm not seeing a second expansion here. Although maybe I should move out across the map a little. Anyway. For the moment... If I need to restart, that's okay. For the moment, we'll just simply move across the map and see what's up. We do have a level uh, level 6 Meave now, though, and that should make this a lot stronger here as well. Oh, she's actually got heal. Very nice. Alright, so that means that all of these dudes should be uh, reasonably easy to keep alive here. And Meave is actually already turning out to be really powerful. So just in case, I'll make sure to save here. And we'll go from there. Well, you guys give me tips to make static defense a lot more often. I have a tendency to, like, go all out, I suppose, and, you know, just start making a lot of it. This does feel a little like sort of playing like an RPG in a way, where I've got a, a reasonably small army, but really, like, I'm teleporting back and round here with, uh, me, with my Eve, and I guess I may very well need to do the same thing here. Maybe I should go ahead and do so just like this. So that way, my Eve can join the battle here as well. You think I should activate my ulti? We can do so. Well, if I would have these uh, bears at the front, that would make things way easier. There we go. And I should be allowed to like teleport back here as well with that staff. Look at that! Doesn't that feel like playing an RPG? My unit's over here are at least looking healthy. I do like that teleportation though, that's really cool. Sending out, by the way, these dudes here. The little shades, the little uh, spirits of vengeance, apparently. I don't know exactly how much damage they did, but... There you go. Blink should be really helpful here, too. And still, like, constantly using... Constantly using the roar here. Very powerful, too. Oh, those are mine. She's reached the shore. I'm away. Bring the runner in a transport out to sea. The transport must survive, the runner must survive, and my base must survive here as well. I figured that it says, you know, my base must survive, so I should probably be pushing pretty aggressively with the static defense, but considering I got a very limited amount of income here, this may be a little bit of an issue. But regardless, we need to bring the runner out to the top left corner. Um, alright. I've got some uh, some hippogriffs here too. Maybe I should use those for defense. I'm not entirely sure. We're wasting time here. What if I load up all of my units into a ship, though? I mean, how is that gonna really help us out here? Because of course, the hippogriffs can't quite enter, right? But at the same time, like, I'm gonna be extremely vulnerable. Hold on. Once again, before sailing out, I'll make sure to save here. I also can't teleport back home anymore now with me, Eve, of course. So right away, there are some of these flying enemies. I'm not sure if I can just simply bypass these or if I'm supposed to, like, kill them with my hippogriffs. I'm not even sure how strong the hippogriffs are. Of course, there's really no proper way for me to, uh, 
to take this out right now. Otter down with micro, I suppose. Which works for me. But uh, apparently, they're automatically target firing down the weakened units. But that works. Um, I guess I could have baited them over here as well and like unloaded my troops right away. Which is great, because they actually unload all at once, but... I'll go ahead and activate my ulti here. And of course, we'll activate the roar here too. So this time around, I'm by the way waiting in the meantime at home. Or with the rest of my army rudder. Making sure that they're not fighting all at the same time as well. These ancient protectors actually do a surprisingly good job though. They still do a lot of damage. I think they are still paying for themselves. I am losing a bunch of troops. It's a little scary. But we are defending here quite nicely. We need to make sure that the rest of my army over in the other end of the map is at least going to be alright. I wonder though, because I'm still losing a lot of troops here. I'm secretly hoping that my bears can stay alive for a little while longer, but I'm afraid that this is going to be the last of it. Yeah, indeed, that one does end up falling. I wonder if I wasn't playing maybe a little too safely here. Anyway, regardless, we're going to be able to clean this up here, at least after a while. I am falling down to low upkeep, or no upkeep, rather, once again. I should be capable of pushing onwards once more here on the other end of the map, but still. This is still going to be a really tricky one. Ooh, there's some golden coins. Gather the golden coins from the temple to build more defenses at your base. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm okay with that then. So I just picked myself up a bunch of uh, bunch of resources once again. Oh, that's very nice. All right, you know what? I'll just start building up a whole lot of stuff. I'll just queue them up, I guess. I wonder if I should have not gone for any upgrades or maybe if I should have researched some more. Regardless, I'll queue up a whole bunch of things. And I may even want to go for like another ancient protector then. Let's build it right over here. Actually, that's that's pretty nice though. The fact that we got that we found these golden coins makes this way easier. There we go. Defending this one quite nicely too. May end up losing an archer, maybe two, but nothing too terrifying. And that means that at the same time, I'm going to be capable of pushing onwards and take out all of these dudes. Although this is a little unfortunate, I didn't quite get my roar off. Alright, moving onwards once again. There is a massive gate up ahead. I guess we need to destroy this. And at the same time, I can also bring over my ships a little more. A little closer. Come on, ships. You guys can go over this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be able to. And I think this is where we're heading up next. Although, once again, there is some gold to be gathered. So I think I should probably go ahead and do so. Our sacred grove is being decimated. Once again, though, there is some aggression here as well. And apparently, my dude said Satitis have uh, decided that they want to fight really badly. Not quite what I was hoping for. Now, even though this isn't the cleanest execution, we seem to do an alright job. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate my ulti here as well. It should actually be pretty good for us. Because uh, I'm going to be able to loot these golden coins. I think I'm just going to build archers. <laughs> the archers seem uh, seem awfully strong. Okay. And I will push onwards. Archers may very well be one of the most cost-efficient units if they're like allowed to fight behind... Uh, Behind a uh, a wall, I suppose. Maybe maybe some druids of the claw wouldn't hurt either, though. They're actually much cheaper, weren't they? Weren't they 300 minerals each? Or 300 gold each? I believe they were. Alright. Sadly, I'm afraid that some of my moon wells will end up falling here. Which is unfortunate, but... Still got a really large army here at home as well. There we go. That should be this cleaned up reasonably easily. And while I did end up losing some of my wells, which I didn't want, but... 
We're still looking good. We're still looking solid here. I'm gonna once again be able to use my staff of teleportation. After setting up a heal there. To continue onwards. With the rest of my troops. And I've cleaned up a lot of things here so far. Uh, although it does look like I'm gonna have to unload here once again. After sailing for just a little bit. Okay, time to unload again. The hunt awaits. I'm awake. I'm We're awake. wasting time here. We must hurry. Justice will be done. Doing quite a bit of damage here. Sadly, ended up losing one of my wolves. Wolves, bears, dogs. No I've been calling them all kinds of different animals. But I wouldn't be surprised that this is going to be one of the last engagements of this map, or maybe I'm I'm grossly mistaken. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case either. Once again, a big engagement at home, and slowly they are overrunning me, which is a little unfortunate. I'm trying to push here at the same time with the other units that I've got left over. Trying to get up some new moon wells here as well, just so I can heal up a little easier. But still, try to make as much as I can. I can wait no longer. I will finish the hunt. Your building is complete. Okay, nice. Teleporting backwards once again. Your building is complete. The hunt awaits. Okay. Justice will be done. And I don't have that much left over, but I still have the boats and everything else we need. Finish the hunt. The end draws near. Wait, wait, is she actually hitting air? Has she been able to hit air all this time and I hadn't realized it? I think that may very well be what that was. Now this fight should be a difficult one. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna summon the big dude. There we go. So that rock golem will be fighting for me for a while. Not sure why I'm not seeing health bars anymore. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. I am not sure why I'm not seeing any... Okay, they're there back. Why did they all of a sudden leave me? I'm not sure if this is the final engagement though. My Eve has now fallen as well. Hmm. Okay, so once more, we're pushing onwards here. That is the last of my resources, however. I hope that I've got enough left over to fight the big dudes over there. Which I'm a little bit worried about, just because there's not all too much. Just trying to play it here as safely as I can. While well, not taking any damage, I guess, but... At home, I've got enough left over. It seems like I'm dealing just fine at home. I'm just a little worried that... You know, maybe... I am not fast enough here, you know? And maybe there will be overrun, or I will be overrun here in just a bit. There are gonna be few of those dudes. Which seems to deal with this stuff just fine. We're wasting time here. I'm gonna need my ultimate here for sure, though. On my Eve, just to try and make this work. I will finish the hunt. Okay, there we go. And I'm also once again gonna put down that rock thing right away. And this fight, I mean, this fight will have to go in my favor. At the same time, there's gonna be a fight over here at home, but I think I'm gonna be okay against that. My Eve does do a lot of damage here. I just wonder if I've got enough units. As long as the, the runner stays alive, though, and we're dealing damage, I think we may very well be able to pick this one up. Although I think that this is the last of the engagements. I'm assuming it is. I'm hoping here that I've got enough. I don't know. This is pretty much as good as it gets for me. Cleaning up a lot of things, and eventually that last Naga will end up falling. That was the last of all I had, though. And this is still a little unfortunate as well, because... Well, I can't teleport back with me even, like, heal her back up. We're not quite at the end just yet, and I did lose all of the things that I had there to keep my units alive. I wish there was a way for me to bring over new units, but I guess... The RPG style of this mission doesn't allow for that. Anyway, I ended up losing my glaive throwers, right? So that means that this tower and whatnot will become rather strong. Once again, we'll teleport back here. 
I guess I'll save just in case, but this is not the greatest of greatest executions. Although I think here. it's the best we could have had. The guilty will suffer. If I can have the avatar though. As well as the rock golem here, We're still helping me here. out. There's a the chance I can do this. We're wasting time here. I don't even really seem to need all of these units though, to be honest. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. No, 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 runner, how did you? No way, no way. Also, if the runner's gonna die right now, that would be terror. Oh my God, why the heck did she go like that? <gasps> She's alive. She's alive. I guess I accidentally used my one hotkey there to move her across. Here's the thing though. I'm pretty sure I can just right click right over there because I'm pretty sure there's only a single tower here ready to fight me. So I'll just start knocking down that gate. It's gonna take me a little bit of time. And even though I've only got two hippogriffs, a single archer, and then, you know, Eve herself left over, the runner's still alive. And I seem to have enough units here. I think. Alright, everyone in the ship. Oh well, all two of you. Come on, runner. Get in there. We're gonna use this first night elf and transport ship, I guess, as sort of bait. And I will just right click right over there. Do you think this will work? Come on. I think that's it, right? I think we just did it. <sighs> that could have been not very closer than that. Not much closer at the very least. Nice. The moon grant that she reaches Shondo Storm Rage in time. If not, Illidan may never be stopped. And with that, also the fourth mission of the Sentinel campaign has been completed on the hardest difficulty that the game has to offer. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And by the way, many of you pointed out that static defense is really good. I think we figured out that indeed my base didn't get overrun whatsoever. I mean, it was a little close at some moments, but really, considering that was like my first time really properly using static defense... That went surprisingly well. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile alright, and I will see you in the next one.